welcome back to Fast Freddy RC, and today I want to do a channel update for you. I know that uh, right now you're seeing my channels flooded with the Toyota Hilux Extra Cab on the CC01 chassis, the build series that I'm doing on that. And if you haven't seen it, you can take a look at it right here. But the chassis itself is finished, and I'm super happy with how this has turned out. I love the build. Uh, and, you know, for those of you that have seen my Jeep Wrangler one, which I have right there in the corner, it's been almost 30 years since I've built a CC01. So I have to say it was an awesome build, had so much fun. But, you know, one of the reasons I want to do another is because I'm going to be doing a comparison build with this and the CC02, that new Ford Bronco, which I got the body painted because I decided I wanted to see how this was going to look in the color I wanted. So this is the yellow Ford Bronco 2021. So when this is all complete, I'm going to be moving on to building that CC02 chassis. And then we'll do some running videos comparing the two. So this has been built locked as, as best it can be because the front isn't a locking differential. The CC02, I will lock both of those so we can really do a comparison on the ground and, and see how it does you know, with trails and hill climbing, etc. So that's where I'm at with the Hilux. Now, that's one project. Well, let's take a look at this one now. As you may have seen, I have a build series on the Opel Calibra V6 on the TA02 chassis, which you can see here if you wanted to follow along. Well, I finally got to deckling it up, and I think this has turned out awesome. Like, that just looks so cool. So, I've got the mirrors still to work on. You have to paint those yellow, and as it's molded in black, it's taking me a bit of time. But I'm getting close to finishing this up completely, and then we'll go and do a, a road test of this. I do love that ta 2 chassis. I, I think this is awesome, and I, I still have to clean up some wires, etc. But as a whole, this has been a super fun build, uh, and I can't wait to kind of do some road tests with it. So that's one that we've got going on here. Um, the other one, which has been sitting for a while, is this one, which was the Mustang 30th uh, Anniversary Edition, the GT4. Now, my plan was to do a California Highway Patrol, which I finally got to that stage in here. Let me just take that off there, where it's all done up with the decals, the Ford, and I've even got the license plates at the front that say chips, and we've got the decals on the top. Now, there's a few things that still need to be done on this car. Um, you can see I did build this one with some hop-ups, and again, you can find the build series that I did on that just up here. But there are a couple of things still needing to be done to this before we're ready to go. One of them is the set of lights. So I need to put the holes in the roof and get these wires through it as well. Because uh, this one is going to plug into the receiver, but this one actually allows you to uh, change the lighting um, with a touch of a button, which I'll need to attach to the top of this. But so that's that's going to be cool, adding the lights. The other one that I've got is this, which is a sound bar. So along with the lights, we're going to have the sound um, of the police sirens. So I'm kind of excited to do that. That's going to take a bit more work, but I'm but I'm getting there. So once this is all set up, uh, again, we'll do some uh, some tests. And I know the other thing that I'm working on is this. So I've painted this all up and then we've got to decal in uh, the headlights and the tail lights. I'm not going to do lights at this point uh, other than just the stickers, but I can do so at a later date. I mean, maybe I'll talk to uh, Trey at All RC Fun about how he does his police lights so that you've got the flashing rear and, and front lights. Um, we'll see. I'm not, I'm not at that stage yet. So. So those are the things that are happening with the Mustang. So if I put that aside, the next thing that I'm working on is this. 
Now, there is a build series that I did for the Hornet, which is right here. If you're interested in following or, along or need some help, it is mostly done. But again, I'm getting the body done by a buddy of mine, uh, same time as the Hilux actually, because he's going to paint it up so that I can get it ready to turn it into the Tyco Turbo Hopper. So I've got all of the decals. These came from Nostalgia RC uh, in the UK. They were meant to be a perfect fit for the uh, Hornet. So it's gonna be, uh, what, the black version of the, of the uh, Tyco Turbo Hopper. And I'm gonna add something else to this as well if I can make it fit. I got a spare set of front wheels and tires because on the Turbo Hopper, there actually was a rear tire on the back. I'm still trying to figure out if it's gonna, gonna work. Once the body is here and I've deckled it all up, I'll see if it actually suits it. I'm not entirely sure at this point, um, just because you know the turbo hopper was designed to have that tire I've, I've kind of done a test where I just laid it on it and I'm not too sure whether I like it or not I want to try and make it as replicate it as best as possible eh, just not too sure if that's going to work or not now those are a few of the things that are on the go at the moment but I also uh, wanted to show you something else that I've brought to the channel and I wasn't going to but if you have been paying attention to the desk while we've been uh, or well I've been chatting away you will have maybe have picked up on it but I happened to get this RC uh, car action magazine and it had all the info about the blockhead motors uh, hotshot and when I started reading it, and it really is a great article, it kind of talks about the car as not um, not trying to be a hot shot too, but more or less it's its own thing. And the more I read about it, the more I realized I was going to end up having to part with some cash. So we're going to be bringing the hot shot two blockhead motors to the channel as well. Now, there are a number of projects on the go at the moment, so I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to get to this yet, but it will be coming. I might do an unboxing um, relatively soon. I'm, I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see how things go. So anyways, that is where we're at at this point. So there's a number of things that I will be talking about uh, later on. Uh, we've still got to finish the, the build. We've got the deckling. We've got the mirrors. We've got the lights. Uh, get the CCO2 going, which will be the next build. And then, of course, this will be an unboxing at some point. So until next time, we'll see you in another video.